always been mentioned like in the same breath with uh, Pacquiao because you're both, you know, you know I mean, do you look up to Manny in terms of what he's done? Manny has been sport? part of, of why I'm here. You know, he has inspired me because by showing that you know, there is no impossibility of what a, a man can do as long as they put their heart and be pure of what they desire inside that ring, and that is winning. You know, I believe that, you know, Manny has been a big part of, of, of uh, my success now because of the fact that, you know, I was I was inspired by, by by him. I mean, I was inspired by a lot of people along the way, you know, by my great friend Andre Ward, you know, Bruce Lee. I mean, you, you name you, you name all the guys that, that, that a kid can be inspired on. But, you know, Manny was one, one, one of the inspiration because he's Filipino. And, and at the moment, back in 2000, <coughs> I would try and, and seek uh, managers and they would say, I'm sorry, kid. You're not Mexican, you know. Or I'm sorry, kid. You're not Latino. I'm sorry, kid. You you don't speak Spanish, you know. And it's always been that way. And Manny has opened that door for me and given me that opportunity. So I'm always gonna be thankful for Manny. Are you guys friends, or I mean, what's your relationship? Oh yeah, we're like? friends. I mean, I've known him since 2000, 2001. We used to karaoke a lot. That boy can karaoke all day. <laughs> we love that though. But you know, uh, you know, we would have a few drinks here and there, but. You know, the life was, was, was really simple back then and it was it was incredible just to see him the way he was, you know, and the way he is and the way he's going to be, you know. So uh, I always support Manny and he's always be a friend. You know, when I see him, we always have lunch and stuff like that. So there's always that mutual respect for each other. Do you aspire to like, you know, to reach that kind of success that Manny's got? And we're not just not just in boxing, but also out, outside of boxing being kind of a crossover. Well, I aspire star. to... Um, to to be the best of what I can be, you know. That's one thing that I've learned in boxing is I want to see. That's why I always seek to challenge the best out there because I want to see what, who who can beat me. I want to see how far I can get. I want to see what weight I can get. You know, that's that's the glory of it is that the more you try, you know, the more you'll see how far you'll get. The more the more your stars uh, shine brighter. You know, when you try, you know, when when you when you try and, and do it. You just you just tend to see more of the light, you know, and then um, at the end of it all, you know, I hope I'll see that light closer than than, than anything. But just doing my best is, is all that I really want to do, you know, and and see how far I can get. I mean, it could be big, like Manny, or it could be just right now, you know. But doing my best and and not and, and, and getting out of that ring, not saying what if, shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know. But at least be proud of what I've done. So that's pretty much. The things that I look into boxing is just doing my best and see how far I can go. What advice, if any, has he given you about your boxing career and just about going forward? Uh, we don't really talk much about it. I mean, he, you know, back in 2000, he was teaching me how to fight lefties. Maybe that's why I was, uh, I was really able to, uh, to concentrate on lefties and then be able to, to be better at fighting lefties. You know, um, he's helped me out a lot about fighting smart. You know, back in 2000. But aside from that, we haven't really talked much about anything just by congratulate, congratulating each other, you know. Yes, back in 2001. Um, I sparred with Manny back then, I was 108, he was 122, he was fighting for the Libaba fight. Um, and, and, you know, he came up to my dad and he was saying, your kids has a lot of potential, you know. He came up to my dad and uh, I, I, you know, he that's why he was teaching me all that stuff back then because, uh, you know, he just see a lot of potential in me, you know, and, and, and you know, he's a great guy. Where did you guys spar? Where was that sparring taking place? Back in the wild card, okay. back in the wild card, you know. But he was helping me out a lot, fighting lefties, at which I didn't understand back then, you know. So it was a great help and a great learning experience from, you know, he was the world champion at 112 at that time, or, or uh, he just passed, actually, and getting ready for the Bobble fight. How'd you do in the sparring? I did pretty well, actually. I did pretty well. You know, um, I'm a pretty tricky fighter because I've had experience uh, in in the amateur level, and um, with my speed, it was it was it was something to par with his speed. So um, I did pretty well in in that sparring, but you know, I didn't I didn't I didn't go beyond that. You know, I didn't go beyond by faring really well with Manny. But you know, back then I was I was uh, 18 years old then, so you know, I've learned a lot from that sparring though.